Welcome back to iGEM Academy. Following on from last time, we will now begin to cover the basics of JavaScript, a programming language that builds on what we've previously covered as regards HTML and CSS. JavaScript acts as a programming language with the aims of conducting actual operations with the document, rather than merely altering the presentation, as was the case with CSS. As we go on, you'll see examples of how JavaScript has the ability to alter HTML text or CSS styles, while also allowing for a range of operations to be conducted. Think of it as the doing language that helps you to simplify your code by repeating operations as well as making it much more interactive. It is also important to note that JavaScript is a different unrelated coding language to Java. We will not be covering Java here or in these videos. In JavaScript, layout code can be placed either between the pair of body or the pair of script tags. A JavaScript function is a block of JavaScript code that can be executed when asked for. For example, a function can be executed when an event occurs, like when the user clicks a button. Placing JavaScripts in external files has some advantages. These are as follows. It separates HTML and code. It makes HTML and JavaScript easier to read and maintain. And cached JavaScript files can speed up page loads. JavaScript programs are computer programs that act as a list of instructions to be executed by the computer. In a programming language, these program instructions are called statements. Also, please bear in mind, JavaScript statements are separated by semicolons. JavaScript statements are composed of values, operators, expressions, keywords, and comments. Values can either be fixed or variable. Operators are what is being done to a variable. For example, added or subtracted. Expressions are a combination of values, variables, and operators, which computes to a value. Keywords are used to identify actions to be performed. And comments are non-executed code after double slashes or between a slash and an asterisk and an asterisk and a slash. This is treated as a comment. A useful tag to use with JavaScript is document.write. This aims to project a given piece of writing on screen whenever required. An example of using the document.write function is as follows. While this is very simple and is similar to what was done using the p tag with HTML, it is important in terms of getting used to using JavaScript functions. This piece of code encodes for displaying whatever piece of text you wish to appear on screen and can be programmed to occur after the user clicks a button or hovers over a segment of the screen. In this second example, we will program for a handful of numerical variables and see if we can conduct some basic operations. Please take note of the overall syntax, in particular the position of the variables in between the script tags. Also please notice that the names ex1 and ex2 are arbitrary and anything can be selected in their place. Once variables have been computed, the document.write function is used as such to display any answer involving the stated variables. JavaScript strings are used for storing and manipulating text. A string simply stores a series of characters like John Doe. It can be any text inside quotes and you can use single or double quotes as shown. The length of a string is found in the built-in property length. An example involving finding the right string length to the phrase iGEM Academy is shown. This is an important operation and leads on to more complicated operations essential for making your wiki more interactive. In the second example, we will use a slightly bigger phrase to calculate string length. This only alters what is within the quotation marks. As with before, the code is saved before being previewed on the left hand side of the screen.
Objects are variables too, but objects can contain many values, as shown in the example on screen. The name values pairs in JavaScript objects are called properties. JavaScript arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable. An example of using storing and manipulating arrays is as follows. Per usual, take note of the overall syntax of the code. Thank you for watching. Despite the fact that JavaScript is a large language, we hope you've learned enough to get started using it throughout your wiki so as to make it more interactive, as well as to cut down on time needed to code. In our final video, we will be going over the code of some of the past projects from previous iGEM teams.